Welcome to the Movie Lounge. I'm your host, Stephen Lawson, and today we're going to talk about three things. The Oscar nominations, Star Wars, and Avengers. And I woke up this morning, saw the list, and I'll make it short and stuff. I wasn't, I'm not a big fan of the Oscars. I look at the list and I'm like, okay, cool. There's only like a few things. It's sound editing, sound mixing. Uh, visual effects, sometimes cinematographers, sometimes best picture. And on the list, I saw best picture. I'm going to see American Sniper. I haven't seen it yet. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen on that list that I'm really thrilled about. Like Birdman, I heard nothing but great things about. I'm going to go see it. And <clears throat> with this year, it's interesting because all the best visual effects is awesome. And I really hope Andy Serkis wins. And I hope that he doesn't win, but he the movie he's in gets winning because he's awesome at it. Um, I would love to see the Hobbit win awards. I would love to see um, X Men. Period. I would love to see all of them win. So it's it's all down to that list. I like the technical stuff. I'm not big into the whole business side of it. And so yeah, that was. I'm never really a big fan of them. Like, I just find them boring. Growing up, I liked them because it was like, ooh, I'm seeing that movie. That person I like, ooh, that's cool. But now as I grow up, it's like, and I do movies and I do films and it's, I just like the technical stuff. I like the boring, tedious technical things that build the film, build the story up. So yeah. <clears throat> and I know a lot of people talk about this, the whole Star Wars and Avengers and I'm excited for both of them. I'm really excited about Avengers and how it's going to branch into the new phase of everything that Marvel is doing. And I think that what they're doing and making it a little bit darker, totally cool. I'm on board. Anything that Marvel does, I'm on board. And I saw Guardians of the Galaxy, didn't really know much about the comic books, looked interesting, but I was like, I'm not going to read the comic book, I'm going to go in new on this, because I knew about the other ones that they made into movies, and I loved it. It was very much like today's generation version of Star Wars. It's fun, it's humorous, it has everything, action, and all around, it was a great gamble that they did. And... I saw the trailer, I saw the new trailer, and I was like, this reminds me of the first one they did, but it's still cool, because it's nothing like, it's something new, it, it doesn't, what I love about it is, it's not giving away too much about what it is, I kind of know, because of the whole, they announced Civil War, Captain America Civil War, so you kind of get an idea of like, where they're going to go with this, but in the end, I was like, this is kind of cool, I'm still on it, like, maybe when they come out with the third trailer, they'll give a little bit different side of it. I hope they do and show more of the story. But right now I'm okay with it. I'm I'm not torn like some people I know, but it's it's fun. I, I'm I'm enjoying what they're doing. I love every summer fall. I'm I like what they're doing. <clears throat> now with Star Wars it's a little bit different. It's it's high hopes for me. Like I saw the trailer when it came out and fell in love with it, fell in love with what the original ones were, and growing up, the first movie I could ever remember was Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, and I love that movie, and that was what pushed me to become a filmmaker now, is if it wasn't for Star Wars, I would be cleaning toilets somewhere, and what George Lucas brought to the table and brought his creative side of it, and new ideas in the film industry back in 1977 like in 77 like none of this stuff was ever made no one ever thought of what what star wars is then to now like so it's to me it's more of a not personal but it's more of a love letter to me that's how i feel like i'm so like i'm a huge fan boy about star wars anything star wars does, yes there's episode one two and three you can scratch those out. I'm not a big fan of them. I'm more a fan of episode three because of a family member that worked on it. But just because it's the whole start of who Darth Vader is. Love it. And watching the trailer, I was like, I watched it probably at least like a couple dozen times. Like, 
or more. It was the whole style. It wasn't heavy on the CGI. It was you could see the 35 millimeter in it. You could see the practical effects. You could see J.J. Abrams trying his best to not like fail. You could see him pushing like this is a true Star Wars fan doing a Star Wars movie and not going to fail. I've heard nothing but great things about it. I've heard amazing things. I heard this is one of the coolest Star Wars movies. <clears throat> so I'm really excited about this and I'm excited what they're going to bring to the table. And I love that they're doing practical effects. I love the original cast from the um, original Star Wars is back. I love, I cannot wait to see the Millennium Falcon. Holy dang, that was my favorite ship growing up. I, if I see the original Star Wars on TV, I'll watch them. I will, I'm massively a fan of them. It's, my girlfriend can even, can even vouch for me on it. Like, it's, it's nothing but just magic for me. Anytime I see Star Wars, the original ones, and hopefully episode seven, it brings back the whole magic. Because going into film school, to me, film school kind of ruined watching movies because now I see all the technical things. So I'm like, oh, I know how to do this. I know, no, I know how to do that. Watching Star Wars for me, it's more of like, ooh, how did they do that? Or how did they do this? Like, that's what I'm hoping for episode seven. If they don't do it, if they don't show that, or if they don't make me feel that way, that's fine. It's, to me, it's going to be a apology letter. It's going to be like, sorry for episode one, two, and three. We know George Lucas can't direct, but he's a great storyteller. Thank you. And it's J.J. Abrams saying, we're sorry. That's that's pretty much, for me, what it is. It's him saying, I'm sorry for episode one, two, and three. Like, And I hope they do that with Indiana Jones. I hope they... They try to push and make more. I loved Indiana Jones. I loved everything that they did. And I'm going on and on and on about how much they love this and that. So, yeah. So this is a short episode today. And, because not much. I want to make Monday slash Tuesday episodes. More of questions. And the Thursday and Friday episode be more of just going into the whole like what's coming out, what's new and stuff. Make it more balanced out. So yeah, if you have any questions for the Monday slash Tuesday episodes, you can email email us at themovielounge15 at gmail.com and we'll go over your questions and we will pick which ones we're going to go through and answer them. And I promise we'll never leave out a single question. We'll answer everyone. The reason why if we pick one is if we know, okay, I know how to answer this right away. Or if there's some that I have to go and actually do research on and do some study on. Because I don't want to answer a question that is going to be wrong. And I don't want to offend anyone if I answer it wrong. And like, well, you did it this way, this way. So all these questions are going, all the answers I give are going to be my opinion based and they're not all the way true so there's sometimes they'll be in my opinion of like oh, okay this is what it is but sometimes they'll be all the way true like i'll know exactly what these questions will be so yeah thanks for watching i hope you guys have a great weekend and i'll tell you later bye